It seems the end of the world is very much on our mind. Another movie opening up about an approaching asteroid. We have a budgetary asteroid coming in January, the sequester rule. If Congress can't find the money, it will automatically cut $1.2 trillion indiscriminately from everything. That's $600 billion from domestic things like health and education, $600 billion from defense, and uh, who knows what else. Okay, there's this conservative plan that cuts and raises taxes called Simpson Bowls. Nobody likes it, it's harsh, but it'll get you to four trillion in 10 years. Okay, it'll kill the sequester. So what's a good image for Simpson Bowls? No, not that one. Uh, how about Simpson Bowls, okay? So the congressional astronauts send Homer up to bomb this asteroid. But how can that happen in this Congress? The Republicans are crippled by an anti-tax ideology and a guy named Grover Norquist. Grover has got them to pledge to never ever raise a tax. Even if they threaten to raise a tax, he hits them over the head with a club for growth. Ow, that's gotta hurt. Democrats aren't much good either. They won't take a stand, they need a leader, but that rock is still coming in January 1. But wait, remember the Bush tax cuts? They're also expiring January 1, and if Obama wants, he can just let them go, just like that. America is saved. The rich pay their fair share. The sequester is sent into space. You gotta love the elegance of that. Unless you're Grover Norquist. <laughs>